back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. That's right, guys. And you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer. And we're getting ready to do another comic book haul. That's right, guys. Comic book haul week number 65. So who's ready to view some comic books? This guy. That's right, guys. Lots of books this week. Actually, lots of DC titles this week. But before we get started, guys, don't forget free comic book haul or free sorry free comic book day this weekend at your local comic book shops what do your guys shops do uh for free comic book day do they give away free uh issues besides the actual free comic book day comics uh do they have special sales do they give away posters guys leave your comments below about what free comic book day does for you at your local store so with that being said, let's just jump right into the haul and see what books I got this week. Boom, the bag. Pretty cool bag, actually. Superman bag, not bad. So, here we go. That's right, the bag is gone. Got a free comic book aftermath thing, but that's not what's cool about it. Iron Man 3 mini index card poster thingy. That's pretty badass. I was happy about that. I'll hang that up in the uh, backgrounds behind me. So, new comics for the week. First off, we got Earth 2, issue number 12. That's right, guys. The uh, Dr. Fate is now in battle with Wonton. And uh, this is like the coup de gras of uh battles here for earth 2 right now uh if you guys are interested in this series i know batman is going to be joining this series very shortly uh which batman is it going to be or who is it going to be is it going to be one of the robins because earlier in the series you actually saw batman die in issue one so at least we thought he died but anyway it's going to be interesting to see so earth 2 issue number 12 Next, Green Arrow, issue number 20. Last time we had Green Arrow that I read it, it was my number one book of the week. Will it repeat? Find out in next week's uh, Spider Slayer's comic book countdown. But this book is really, really awesome. Jeff Lemire has done a fantastic job with turning the Green Arrow series around. Next, Hawkeye with its crazy-ass covers. Hawkeye, issue number 10. Look into my eye. What do you see? I don't know. Anyway, this guy, if you remembered, at the end of the last issue, shot Hawkeye's buddy Grill, or Gill, or whatever his name was. And if you remember, he had a tear at the end of his eye. So that's what this cover represents right here. So Hawkeye is a fantastic series, one of my favorite series for Marvel right now. And it really doesn't have to do with Marvel now, and this is one of the best ones. So number 10 of Hawkeye. Ready, another DC comic. The Movement, issue number one. What is this about? Not sure. Uh, I read a few things about it, but haven't read too much. Uh, Gail Simone writes it, so I don't know. Interesting cover. Can't wait to see what it's about. Look for a review on this channel for the movement. Next from DC Comics is Swamp Thing, issue number 19. I never read Swamp Man before except issue number 19. And, uh, I, you know, Scott Snyder wrote it. I'm going to read the previous issues probably in trade and definitely when the Rot World, uh, Storyline comes out on trade. I'll probably read that as well. So I'm very interested to see uh, How this pans out for me. So Swamp Thing issue number 20 Next from DC uh, Well, yeah, I guess why not I guess why I show you here's a oh, there's not this one's not does not have a fold-out cover but next issue number 19 uh, Teen Titans I uh, never read Teen Titans before. I think I read one issue. It wasn't half bad. Superboy's in this right now, and I don't know if he's part of the team now, but here's a fold-out cover. So um, I'm trying a lot of new titles that I never read before, a lot of new DC titles. 
Uh, just because um, lately with Marvel, there's been things that I'm not too crazy about. So um, I'm jumping on board with a lot of things to see what these titles have to entail. And plus, a lot of them are a dollar cheaper. So why not try it out? So Teen Titans, issue number 19. Next, we have Action Comics, issue number 20. We all know what's going on with Action Comics right now, that we don't have a regular writer in this particular story arc, but Andy, and I guess it says Andy Diggle on it, but uh, Tony S. Daniel definitely does the artwork, and I love the last issue of this uh, particular story arc, and I cannot wait to read issue 20. Uh, the interior art looks just as good, and I'm very intrigued, and Hopefully Action Comics stays good. I really don't want to drop it again. I read it from issues 1 through 5, dropped it, picked it up here now because I was anticipated for the new creative team. All kinds of shit's happening. Now there will be another new creative team after this arc. So we'll see what happens, but uh, for right now, Action Comics is good. Next, from Marvel, Age of Ultron, book number 7. Uh... Freaking Wolverine went ape shit in the last issue, and uh, he killed Ant-Man, in case you didn't know that. So sorry if I spoiled it. But uh, the ramifications are going to happen now, I guess, in this particular issue. And what you see on the cover is uh, lots of different stuff. Uh, you got, looks like Nick Fury with a Captain America shield. And uh, so, yeah, lots of weird things going on in this cover. But looking forward to reading this. The last issue of Age Ultron was the best so far, um, so stay tuned for a review either on Inc. or on this channel here. Next from Marvel, the best Marvel title now, I think, is All New X-Men, and that is issue number 11. Uh, it's got kind of this old school feel to it with, you know, where you got the cover and you show the, the character spaces on there. Um, interesting stuff. It's kind of crossing over, I guess, with the other X-Men title that I'm not too happy about uh, right now. But we'll see where this one goes. But this is, if you're going to get the two X-Men titles, this is the one to go with. This is Marvel's probably most steady, most consistent, and best, and overall best book uh, there is right now. So all new X-Men issue 11. Next, we have Savage Dragon, issue number 187. Uh, this book looks like it's going to have to do with the Young Vicious Circle, and they're going against Malcolm. And now Malcolm doesn't have his teammate, which is his sister Angel, and we have to find out what's going on with Dragon, if he's staying on Earth, breaking out of prison, or if he's going to help his people salvage what lands or world they have left from an alien invasion so savage dragon definitely a different title it has a following uh eric larson draws and writes it so uh issue number 187 of the savage dragon next we have from marvel now superior spider-man issue number nine i guess this is the issue or if it's not this issue the next issue that's supposedly supposed to piss off a lot of people well, I'm going to read it, and after this review, or after this haul video, uh, I'm going to do a, a video on it and give you my thoughts of the Superior Spider-Man. Weird cover. Uh, not used to ever seeing a cover like this from Spider-Man, period. But Superior Spider-Man is written in a brain, which is crazy. Uh, but all kinds of stuff happening. The battle between Doc Ock and Peter Parker's mind rages on everybody so spider-man issue number nine uh next number one from xenoscope entertainment and that is vampires the eternals this has to do with the tie-in of uh unleashed uh which was the series that i talked about uh last week and um there's all kinds of tie-ins that if you're interested in, you can buy. Uh, this one happens to be with do with the vampires. And soon will be werewolves, zombies, hunters, and all kinds of things like that. So check out checking out the issue number one of this. And this is, again, Xenoscope's big event of the year. So vampires, the eternal, issue number one. Uh, 
And last but not least, to celebrate one of my favorite heroes' uh, up-and-coming movie, and his regular series sucks right now, so I don't like it. I dropped it, and I haven't read the last issue, but I picked this up. Issue number 258.1. That's right. Uh, has to do with, I guess the last series or one of the series or whatnot but this is the iron man that spider slayer likes right here this guy this iron man and i picked this up and i'm like cool cover i'm like it's got classic looking stuff to it and the artwork just iron man at its finest got that 90s late 80s early style to it Tony Stark's got the scraggly hair and the thin mustache, and it's got this, you know, this kind type of artwork. And the one page that I turned to almost immediately that made me pick this up was this right here. And this is what reminds me of Iron Man and just being, you know, remembering what Iron Man was to me when I was a kid. And that's what I like about it so much. And that's why I picked this up. Uh, I'm interested to see, you know, what this story has to entail, and uh, I will hopefully get a chance to do an uh, individual review on this book, but I'm excited about this one. And uh, I'm going to try to see the movie this week sometime. Uh, there's a possibility of me seeing it Saturday, maybe Wednesday. I just got to find time to fit it in on there, and then hopefully I'll do a review on the movie as well. But uh, that's it, guys. That's your haul for the week. Uh, like I said, Spider-Man review following immediately after the comic book haul. This was the books for the week. And guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.